So let us begin for what's in store for us today. Now, in the first topic for today that we are scheduled for is going to be our lesson five, which is special field types. All right. So in this particular topic, we are going to be discussing once we are done, once you've completed this particular lesson, you're going to be able to understand how Tableau works with date hierarchies in terms of pivoting date parts on shelves, how you can differentiate between a discrete and a continuous date, how you can create and make use of custom dates, what are date dimensions on a fiscal year, and how you can filter on date dimensions dynamically using your relative date filtering, and also understand the working of date hierarchy with cubes. So that's in store for us for this particular lesson. So let me now move on and begin with the first topic here. Now, if you remember previously, we had discussed that in terms of dates, Tableau handles depending on the kind of uh, database, data source that you're using, date relational or a cube data source, it handles and works with the date differently depending on its data source. All right. So <clears throat> you can see it automatically separates the date field into multiple levels of uh, time hierarchy, as you can see here. All right. So uh, if, in case when you have a date, it breaks down, you can see from year to quarter onto month to week and day. All right. So it creates its own level of hierarchy here that uh, it can make use of and separates the entire field. Now, this is in case when you're using a file, when you're using a relational file, all right? So <clears throat> at the end of this, we would also discuss that in case if it's a multi-dimensional cube file, then what happens? So right now, we're talking about the basic Excel sample file, and that's how we've seen that Tableau automatically divides into multiple levels of time hierarchy, all right? So in this case, you can see back in on our uh, Excel, you will find that we have the order date, which is a single uh, level and column here that you can see, all right? But the moment we pull in that data, so let me show that to you in the repository as well. The moment we pull in this particular data, order date, all right, uh, that's how you can see it uh, onto our sample superstore data dimension here, and it automatically creates a hierarchy. So we've seen this earlier now that as soon as we add it up, we can drill and we can keep moving ahead. All right, so let's understand, let's take up a scenario and discuss on, on how uh, dates are dealt with. So Jason Michaels, now he is the sales manager of an apparel manufacturing company. Now in uh, quarter four, the performance, uh, he has a performance review meeting, which is uh, next week, all right? And in that case, he needs to present the year over year sales report, wherein he wants to highlight how his new marketing strategy that was introduced in this particular year has increased the sales considerably, all right? And for that, he needs to see the sales report initially at a year level, and then additionally, he should be able to drill down to the sales performance at a quarter and monthly level. Now, let's see, uh, assuming that we are Jason Michaels here, how are we going to achieve this particular scenario, all right? So let me switch on to my... So I'm going to move on to my Tableau environment here, wherein I have already added in the order sheet from the sample file provided by Tableau. Now, to achieve that particular scenario, what we're going to be doing is let's first build a normal view where we can have the order date and sum of sales, all right, wherein then we can proceed further where we can achieve that, uh, achieve a view where uh, as Jason Michaels, we will be able to see the sales at an initial yearly level, all right? And then we should be able to drill down at uh, wherein we can show the sales performance. So now since we're talking about wanting to see a yearly level with related to time that we want to see, what we're going to do is let's have our sales and order date selected, all right? And based on this in the show me option, you can see it gives us the option to create a line. Now, uh, that is one of the best uh, charts that you can make use of in terms of analyzing something which is time-related, which is time-based. So whenever you want to analyze something time-related, time-based, your line charts, your line graphs is what is ideal in terms of choosing the kind of view. All right? So here we have the your order date. So if you notice, we already have the order date 
and Tableau has automatically created the hierarchy, the level here for us. And by default, it's taking in the highest level of the time hierarchy here. So it takes in the uh, level at a yearly level here for our sales that we can see. Now, this is how Jason will be able to achieve his view where he can see the sales at a yearly level for all the years that are present in the data source, all right? Now he should be able to drill down as the uh, you know requirement was that he should be able to drill at every level in terms of seeing the performance because he had introduced a particular plan, a particular sales plan, and he wants to see whether that implementation has been beneficial. So he can simply click on the plus sign here, and that's how now we've drilled down from year to a quarter level. So we are able to see the sales year for every year divided at a quarter level, all right? And then finally, we can drill down even more further by clicking on the plus sign, which can uh, then in terms of uh, drilling down to a monthly level, wherein now we can see that we're able to see the entire data at a yearly, quarterly, and monthly division year, all right? So it's January, February, and March that you're able to see, which is the first quarter in 2011, and that's how you're able to see your sales across time. All right, so that's how Jason can achieve this particular uh, scenario where he can see the sales over time. Uh, Dilip uh, has a question that says, how do we get the plus sign? Dilip, in terms when we're using the uh, relative relational data source, which is the sample data source, the moment you drag and drop your order date onto the columns or any field, it will automatically give you the plus and minus sign. Because uh, what happens is, like I mentioned, Tableau basically refers and it deals with date in a special manner, all right? So if it's, an, it's a relational source, it automatically creates a time hierarchy. Now you can see we don't see any hierarchy that is created here, but what it has done is it has identified the role. It has identified it is related to date and time, and that is the reason it has automatically created these levels of hierarchy for us. So in our data, whatever are the dates, the year, the quarter, based on that, Tableau has automatically identified and created these hierarchies for us, all right? So you can directly, the moment you drag and drop a particular, when you drag and drop the order date or any date-related field coming in from a relational source, you can automatically see the plus and minus sign, all right? I hope that answers your question. So that is how we have Jason who will be able to achieve where now he can have the entire, let's go back to the demo, let's go back and see. So he wanted to highlight how his new marketing strategy was introduced in that year, increase the sales, all right? And he wanted the initial report at year level, and then finally he should be able to drill it down to quarter and month, and that's exactly how we could achieve this scenario. So first we created a view with just year and the sales, and that's how we can see that there has been a considerable increase in terms of all the sales that have been taking place. All right, uh, based on the uh, int introduction of the basic uh, program, the marketing strategy that he had introduced. All right, so that's how, uh, one, we've achieved and seen how we can achieve the scenario, and moreover, how Tableau handles the date in terms of when you're using a relational data source.